Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you order of execution of a SQL query. So what basically I'm going to show you is that how your query, your data is selected and after that when condition is applied and after that how data is selected. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video what will be the flow of a query. So let's get started with the flow. So you can see the flow. First one is from and if join is there in the query then from and join will be the first one to get executed. So why from is executed first as it will give you the base data on which you will be putting your conditions where you will be putting your limit and all the other things you will be putting on that data. So it basically gives you the base data. So let me show you each one of these clause by running a query. So I'm using a customer database. You can see first table is for customer details and second one is for its order. So in first table, I have four customers. And in second table, that is for orders, I have four order placed by customer. So let me go to SQL and write my first query. So write select star from customer. So here what will be the base data is that whatever present in your customer table like how many rows are there, how many columns are there. So that will be our base data. After that select star will be executed as I'm selecting all the columns and all the rows from customer table. So next is join. So if join is present in query then your base data will be from table and all the join tables so that will be your base data so here let me join with customer order so write inner join customer and in own condition write customer order dot customer id equals to customer dot id so our base data will be from customer order and join with customer table so here you can see that will be our base data on which we will be applying our conditions. So now next in the flow is where condition. So it basically filter out the base data. So now let me show you in query. Let's say we have this base data. So if I apply let's say amount and write greater than condition let's say 8000. Now you can see three rows are now present. So here understand the flow that firstly base data that is from from and join data table that is our base data that is form then on that where condition is applied and after that select is executed that is select star is there. Now let me put another condition in where let's uh, write name equals to knowledge or name equals to thrusters. Now here base data is our four employees on which where condition is applied that only we need two data that is knowledge and thrusters then select star is applied that we need all the columns. So next is group by it basically aggregates the data so it will group you know similar data whatever column you will pass in that. So let me show you in query write select sum and let's say amount and write group by customer ID. So what I'm doing is that I want that according to customer how many amount of order he has placed. So let me get the name as well. So here understand the flow that firstly base data is created then where is applied then group by is running and at last select is executed. So now next is having it basically filter out the aggregated data. So let me write in query that having let's say some amount greater than 10,000. I just only need those customer whose amount is greater than 10,000. So here after group by having will be executed and at last select will be executed. So now next one is select. So select it basically the final data that what we are going to return. So whatever I'll write in select let's say star i'll write some amount name so this one is our final data that will be returned so understand this like that from is applied join is applied and all the other condition is applied and then what you want to pick from that that what you exactly return the final data that is 
what select is doing that i want to select some particular column or i want to select the complete data so that is what select will return now next is order by so now next is order by it basically shows the final data so into ascending and descending order so let me write in query so write order by let's say ascending first so this will give same output as it is already ascending order so after select it will be executed as it will show the data into ascending or descending order so now let me show you descending as well so write order by descending so now you can see order id 2 is first row now so last will be executed that is limit or offset so it will limit the final data to a row count so let me show you in query so now write limit 1 and you can see only one row is returned so let me change order by in ascending and see that now you can see order id 1 is returned before order id second is returned so that's what makes the difference if you are using order so I have shown you the complete flow that how a query is executed. So if you have still any doubts regarding this topic, then comment in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.